What's up, YouTube? All right, so here's a video that uh, I didn't think I'd actually uh, decide to do. Um, I know a lot of other photographers have done it. They've done the whole, here's how I edit a photo. And I was like, yeah, but a magician never reveals his tricks, man. I don't want to do something like that. Why am I going to let people know? But I thought about it, and I was like, you know what? Maybe there are some people who do want to know, how do I go about editing my photos? So the number one thing that I do is I get it right or as close to properly exposed in camera first because it'll make the editing that much easier to actually do once you're doing the editing. Um, other than that, uh, if I'm doing like say a high contrast black and white image or something like that, I'll expose for the highlights because as you increase the contrast, you're going to be increasing the highlights, you're going to be crushing the blacks and shadows anyway. So, you know, that's just my workflow. Uh, I do not use Photoshop, I don't use Lightroom, I use DxO and Affinity Photo, but we're not going to get into advanced editing where you're removing things and doing, you know, multiple layers of images and masking or anything like that. This is just going to be how I edit the base images that I take. Um, now the problem is, I've been in my backyard for a while and I usually there's a lot of bird activity but apparently not at five o'clock in the afternoon in Canada Ontario so there really was nothing for me to shoot so I guess I'll have to just grab another image and show you that way uh, so I guess that's pretty much the intro to what we're going to be doing today and uh, let's just jump right into it Blah! Three images here. Let's see if I can give you a quick snapshot. So these are uh, just of a robin that eventually did actually land in my backyard on the fans. So, woo, 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 woo. actually got an image from today. So let's uh, fire up DxO Photo Lab Three, which is what I use. And we'll just have to wait for this to load up here. This is the waiting game, the waiting game, the waiting game. This is the waiting song. How long? How long? All right, there we go. Okay, so let's go into... Yeah, I have a lot of photos. All right. I don't think I saved that in photos, though. That is in videos. And need to do, there we go. Okay. Now I'm not going to make a project out of this. We're just going to run this. Well, actually, I'll just, I'll, you know what, I'll walk you through exactly how I go about doing all this. All right. So add a project, and it's going to take that away. Should have done this earlier. How I edit. Photos is what we'll call it. So I have that there. You can just hit enter or you can just click outside it. So it will be highlighted there. So now we just got to go back up and go to how I edit my images. All right. Select all three. Shift click shift right sorry shift left click if you're in windows let's go into projects how i edit photos and we will just drag it in there Oops. and i seem to be having some issues with my mouse which is not great oh okay i actually took them perfect okay so let's just jump into it all right so here's the base image that's this is the image as it was out of the camera, and this is with DxO's uh, automatic corrections. So again, it's a little underexposed. DxO brought it up a little bit, but that's not good enough for me. So what I want to do is actually bring up the contrast here, and I want to actually bring up, okay, I don't want too much of the fine contrast though. And what ISO were we at? 200? Okay, so noise reduction should be good. Now let's go one to one just to make sure it's actually decent. Uh, it's not the greatest. I wasn't shooting in uh, single um, 
uh, single shot priority, single focus uh, mode. Actually, I was in expanded in AFC, so I wasn't really shooting with the correct. Okay, now this is a much better image to work with. Let's just see if this is actually, is this any good? Yeah, it might be. All right, let's see if we can work on this one for now. All right, so let's bump the contrast up a bit here. Now, remember what I was saying before about the black and white? So you'll notice as I bump the contrast, the darks get really dark. It crushes the blacks. The highlights come out more. Even if you look at the uh, histogram up here. Now we'll go back and we will put this back how it was and you can see it immediately a big difference so I may not actually bump the contrast up on this I might just raise shadows slightly yeah and then bring the blacks down a tad this is generally what I end up doing uh, doo -doo -doo. Uh, maybe we'll move the contrast slightly yeah a little bit Let's drop that down. Okay, looking pretty good, looking pretty good. That might actually not be a good idea. I usually go clear view at 20. Um, no, no, no clear view. I'll give it a bit of a keep it with the natural more natural look but I want to change the fine contrast because I want a tiny bit more detail on edges like along the feathers here so we'll do that and I always raise the vibrancy usually I do uh, somewhere between 35 and uh, 48 depending on the scene this seems to be okay though and actually let's see if we can raise those shadows a bit more mm. no not quite liking that it's a little too much doesn't have that uh the natural effect of the light falling off on the side here but let's go this way and do before and after so you can see there's a lot more go to 100 go before you can see there's a lot more detail especially all along here all right so that's one image done and let's move on to the next one so generally speaking, what I'll do, this is all shot in the same light. So I'll copy the preset. Now I won't apply it right away. I wanted to actually take a look at the image first. And once I take a look at the image, I can determine whether or not all those, like all the edits that I just did will actually apply. If you just go willy nilly, paste global adjustments, yeah, to me, that's a, that's a tad too bright. Just a tad too bright. So what I'll do is actually remove this on the curves. Keep that down. Still see the eye there. Perfect. A little bit of feathering there. Okay, so I think that's actually... That's actually pretty good right out of, right out of the gate. So yeah, so the, the whole thing I was talking about before about actually applying the edits um, you know, across the board, find the edit that you want to do right away and then just apply that across the board and you'll be good to go. So this is pretty much, I mean, you know, this is pretty much how I do my edits. Uh, like I said, it's nothing, we're not getting into anything crazy, uh, super insane or anything like that for today. Um, you know, I just wanted to quickly show you guys exactly what my editing process is on a basic level and that's pretty much it so I'm going to now export these two and I will show these oh, I should have done the befores and after. well you already saw them it doesn't really matter 
Anyway, yeah, so the, this is pretty much how I go about doing my edits, and I always go to the original image folder, export, and that's it. Good to go. Could go crazy with it, but that's not what the point of this was. So, with that said, let me just grab this here. All right, well, that's pretty much it. If you like the video, leave a like. If you have not already, please do subscribe. It helps me out. If you'd like to support the channel, I'll leave that information at the bottom of the description of every video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And that's it for me. You guys will see me on my next video. I'm out.